Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are returning to update 23.2 for checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So yeah, been a while since we've been in a 23.2. I, I feel like the interface, I feel like the background colour feels a lot more dark grey than I feel like it's a lot lighter grey now than it is. I just noticed that. But um yeah, today we have got one system to do from the user Mad Planet Guy in Discord, so massive thanks to him. I mean most of you probably have heard of him before because we've we've done a lot of stuff. Um, over the years, but yeah, massive thank to him for uh, sending uh, this system in. So yeah, this is called the 12 Stars Stable System. So yeah, update 23. I had to download it into a different folder, so I've actually got completely different simulations in this uh, version of the game. So let's go ahead and uh, search for 12 stars. Right. So here we go. 12 Stars Stable. Let's see what he has prepared for us here. Right. Uh, recommended you play with orbits off and trails on. Okay. Yeah, because usually when you have orbits on, it just goes all weird. Um, Glows off in the main menu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if sped up too fast, Universe Sandbox will lose. Oh, yeah, this is this would still be Universe Sandbox 2 at this point in time. Does it still say it? No, it still says Sandbox. I think it was US 2 back then. I'm not sure. I mean, update 23, man. That was a while ago. Um, yeah, so otherwise it will um, mess it up. Okay. Took many uh, rage-inducing hours. Attesting to get this to work. P.S. Subscribe to my planet guy. Yeah, go check him out. I mean, uh, you guys know him. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, check him out. Uh, and then uh, I may make a stable 30 star system all that that will be pretty cool right so let's see what he has got for us here so that's a lot of objects okay I won't spoil it I won't go in uh, there so okay right so where do we start so he said not to use orbits but let's just try and work out what's going on here so okay right so the object count is 53 objects okay for us to check out so Oh my god, look at all those. That is crazy. I guess we'll start off over here then. So, where are we? Right. First star. So, this is uh, 12. So, I'm guessing... Yes, this is a 12-star system. I'm guessing this is star 12. Okay, we'll start here then since it spawned us here. Right, so 12. And we've got 12.1. So, the first uh, object of the day. Here we go. So, we've got a nice uh, gas giant here. Nice blue and white mixture there. Looks pretty nice, I have to say. Look at that. And yeah, this is back in the days before you could customize uh, gas giants. No no options to do that. No surface grids. This was the last ever update before surface grids came along. So yeah, way, way back in time now. Uh, object 12.2. So here we go. So another generic sort of looking world there. And then 12.3 all the way at the end. Another um, random gas giant here of a brown and white color theme. So there we go. I definitely want to try playing this, though, once you've checked out the uh, full system. Right, so that's uh, star number 12. So now we're going to head all the way down. So what is going on here? And this is stable, apparently, which is insane. There's also a barrier. So we can see barrier centers and stuff as well. I mean, that is... Um, they're all for the center of gravity and all that, the biggest point. Right, number one and two. My God, these are close. So there's the barrier center in the middle. So this is the center point of uh, gravity there. I believe that's what they are. Um, so, yeah... That is crazy. And is that a planet there? Oh, my God. This thing... Yeah. This thing's probably going to get absolutely incinerated eventually. I mean, that is dangerously, dangerously close to two mental-sized stars. I mean, yeah. That is absolutely crazy. So, we've got another barrier center here. Uh, object 2 has no nothing around it. Then we have star number 3. Wow, and this is really complex. Wow. Very, very impressive so far. So... Can keep trails on so another barry center then another barry center and then another one uh, then we've got star four and this has got one object around it as well 4.1 and that's got a little moon as well that moon looks very close to the parent planet this is f absolutely crazy this uh, system so we've got another ultra hot world there so there is star four right now we're taking a giant leap to star number five over here and we've got 5.1 so here we are, and a lot of starlight going on. I'm surprised the starlight's not all glitched out on the planets. Because sometimes when you add loads of stars into simulations, it really messes the lighting up. But it's working pretty good. Right, then we have another barrier center, and another one. Right, then we have six, all the way out over here. Right, so object six. So we've got 6.1. So there we are. Right, now you can see the starlight on it is quite bright. If we pull it back to studio, you can see the brightness is way lower. Oh, there's no uh, directional light. Yeah, we're that far back. That option wasn't added yet. Um, then we've got 6.2 over here. Nice yellow um, atmosphere on this one. You can see the starlight is making it look crazy um, here. It's slightly different than it actually is. Uh, 6.3 over here. It's 62 degrees. And yeah, it's actually... Uh, it appears... Is that, yeah, it's an ocean world. There you go. You can see it a little easier there. So we can check the stats. 
because we always like to check the stats. 81 and 32 there. Or 33, sorry. I misread that. 33.2. So there's that guy. But let's just check these guys again. See, uh, we can just see them without the crazy lighting mode on. So there's that one. And then the first one, we can just see it in the uh, menu up here. So there we are. Right. So that is object six. Now we're taking a leap to object seven. Or star seven. So we've got 7.1 over here. Whoa, what's going on over here? Okay, this looks pretty insane. So this is a... It appears to be a gas giant texture on a rocky planet. So you can see there. It is rocky composition, yep. But it has the bands of a gas giant by the looks of it. So one of those weird old um, rocky modded objects. Because remember, this is update 23. There was no surface grids that messed up the modded objects at this point in time. So back here, all of the old modded objects would still be fully functional in the way they're supposed to be. So yeah, it's good to see the older modded objects um, in there. And then we got 7.2 over here. This one looks very nice. Oh, I really like the color choice on that. That looks gorgeous, that one. I really like that. That looks good. So white atmosphere, as we can see. If we look underneath the atmosphere, so that's what it looks like underneath. So it appears to be one of Saturn's moons, I want to say. Or one, just one of the moon's objects in uh, the main menu here. I'm not sure what that is. I mean, I'll probably be able to work it out eventually. But yeah, so it's one of the moon textures. Looks awesome. It's got a red tint to it. But yeah, with that atmosphere and clouds, it looks, looks beautiful. Really, really like that. It's my favorite one so far. And then we have got a Titan-like moon over here. So we can take that off. So that's what it looks like underneath. So there we go. Looking good. Um... It's got climate mode. Remember climate mode? Who remembers climate mode from the old days? You can see there's some vegetation, um, I believe, that was there. If I turn it on and off, you can see it gets a little greener. Some of the areas get slightly more green. It looks more orange, but when I turn it on, it goes more of a brownish green. It's got that old, like, vegetation stat. Um, and then we've got a tiny moon here. So there we go. Awesome stuff. So, yeah, we go to so 7.2, so there, a moon of a moon. Right. Now we are heading to star eight, so we're taking a huge jump. Another barrier center there. Look at all these stuff. I don't understand how any of this stuff works. I've never really used barrier centers. Um, they're quite complicated for making stuff. I mean, he did say it took him a lot of time to make this, so yeah, there we go. Right, star eight, nothing around there. So now we're heading to nine, another barrier center as well. Right, yeah, this is crazy. This reminds me of Gigaman's old uh, system we checked out in a live stream. I think it was the last live stream I've ever I ever did. Um, so, right, let's zoom in on here. I'm zooming in. This is quite a... This is a black hole. Okay. Right. 2.17 mass of Earth black hole. It's 1.92 centimeters. Oh, that's a little small thing, isn't it? So, there we go. Uh, 9.2 over here. Oh, this looks nice. Ooh. Ah, I like these sort of objects. A nice, nice blue color as well. But is it... So, is this a... It registers as a gas giant. Okay. Wow, that is gorgeous looking as well. Nice dark blue and black there. You can see like the main sort of gas giant colours underneath. What if I go to realistic mode? Okay, so there we are. That's nice, really like that. So 9.2. Good old uh, nice shade of blue there. Right, now we are... It's rogue. So a rogue gas giant. We can quickly hop to this. So we can see it's got loads of bands. Completely dark here. No starlight. It's too far away from all the stars. But it's got a nice mixture of blues. It's a bit of turquoise in there as well. And yeah, whites and like indigo colours. So very nicely designed there. So if we zoom out again. You can hear me scrolling my scroll wheel. Right, so we are now at star number 10. So it's a nice uh, blue star this time. Right, so 10.1. So we can see there's little, little oceans on it. Little patches of water. Lake, more like lakes, aren't they? Uh, it's 170 degrees. It's very, very hot here. 10.1. Uh, 10.2. Next object out. So it's another uh, ocean world. Let's see what the temperature is. Uh, 131. Oh, so 131. Uh, 76 and 42. It's got um, a moon as well. Looking good. Right. 40 degrees as well. So they're really warm objects here. Uh, then we are at 10.3. Another nice looking world here. The I like the surface color. So here we are. Let's uh, look underneath. So without the clouds and the atmosphere. Yeah, nice, a nice purpley color there. I like it. Let's put that back on. Uh, composition. Let's check the stats. 89 and 23. So there we go. Right. Now 10.4. Oh, I like this. It's like a coffee colored. It almost looks like you can see there's a bit of Jupiter looking there. Yeah, it does look like the Jupiter slightly, but it definitely is customized because you see the top of it is different. But yeah, 
looks nice. So similar, similar to Jupiter, because his favourite planet is Jupiter, if I remember right. So yeah, there we are. And then let's head on to the moons. We've got some micro moons. And we've got a larger moon here, Venus um, atmosphere. Um, and yeah, that's what it looks like underneath. So let's check the stats on this guy. 98 and 6.95. I mean, yeah, it's, you can see it's got relatively the Venus stats on it. So yeah, it was uh, a Venus. And then you can see the colour of the atmosphere as well. Right, now we're taking a jump to star 11. So what was this over here as well? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.1. Oh, is it because it's orbiting all of the stars? Because it's not an orbit of a single star, I'm guessing. Yeah, we can't really see the trails, but I'm guessing this object just orbits everything. It doesn't have a parent star, so it's just it's like, kind of like a rogue one again, then, I'm guessing. Uh, and then we've got star 10 over here. When did we, did we, we did, did we do 10? No, we did, we did 10. No, we need to go to, right. So, the, yeah, 11, we'll go here. Right, awesome. So, zooming in. So, there it is. Any planets? No planets around here. So, 11 is a rogue. And then 12, the furthest one out. Yeah, we already checked out the objects here. So, yeah, we've seen, uh, that's all the objects. If we get a line up here, so you can see them all there. Yeah, so we have definitely viewed all of those. So, yeah, my favourite is definitely... Um, where, where was it? The I do like the blue one, but I think 7.2 takes the cake for me. All the way down here. Beautiful. I, I really like it. The tint on the colour, the, the atmosphere colour choice. I really like the white clouds on it. Looks great. That's my favourite one. Um, alrighty, now. Getting onto the actual system itself. Right. So it's, it's stable. He says it's stable. Let's try it. Play. So here we go. So this should all work, fully functionally work. Uh, he did say not to speed it up too much, but let's just see. We'll pull it up to a couple of hours. I want to see the main sort of stars uh, working around here. So we can see star three, one and two and three. You can see the Barry centers are all um, going around the center point of the gravity for the stars. This is looking really cool though. So I wonder how far we can push it before it gets upset with us. But we can see it's all traveling here. So we've got star four, three and four. So this should all function Fine, see three is going around the two stars again. We've got four over here. You even got that hot planet orbs in there. Uh, star five and six. Obviously, the further out we go, the slower they're going to be. But we can see the main action is here. So it's a little fast. I mean, I don't think we can really do it much further than that. I mean, it's going to get it a little upset, but we can. Yeah, this this looks to be working well. So if we go on orbits, completely, you can't see anything. So yeah, keep it on trails. But yeah, we can see there it's functioning. Like it's working. Look at that. So that is cool. It's, it's nice to see the actual sort of science-y parts of Universe Sounds being utilised. Because we don't usually see it. We usually just see the system, a bunch of planets around it. But seeing the actual mechanics of barrier centres and stuff, that's something we don't really see too much. And I think the only... I know uh, there's a few users who have done it before, but this is usually quite rare. We don't usually see systems incorporating barrier centres and having perfectly stable systems and stuff like this. I mean, these are really, really cool. So, yeah, look at this. I mean, this is just nuts. Look at that. Uh, it's, it's awesome. You see 1.1. It's just going absolutely crazy around the um, star one there. But we can see, yeah, this is all working good. If we zoom further out, we can try and push it further. But, I mean, I don't know. Can we can we really go much further? I don't want to go get, make it go crazy. I mean, that's already going pretty, pretty insane. But we can see it, it is working. The stars are all sitting comfortably. We've got all the barrier centers out here. I mean, can we push it? as? Can we, how fast can we go? I mean, that's that's pretty mental. I mean, that is very, very uh, mental indeed. But look at that. That is awesome. But yeah, we can see if we zoom in, that is just going to destroy your eyes if you keep in there. But we can uh, see star five and six. The Barry centers are all sitting comfortably moving there. We can see three and four. You can see they're orbiting. You can see them going round and round. Now we sped it up. So three and four are going round. We can see object five also um, getting involved as well. Let's just lock onto this Barry center. There we go. So we can see they're all moving around nicely there. Actually, let's lock back onto it. We need to we need to be in the middle, don't we? Where's that Barry Center? Let's lock onto that. There we go. So you can see they're just going absolutely crazy. But yeah, star three, four, five. They're all orbiting comfortably. You can see they're all going around with their um, planets as well. The Barry Centers are all locked in place. Uh, object six, you can see that's in the orbit out there. Uh, object seven, all the way at the end there. Eight. So you can see there's a pattern here. They're all in straight lines. They're all following the main binary stars. So obviously the main two, they're binary they're pushing each other around, they're, they're constantly moving. And all the other stars are following and orbiting the parent two stars in the middle. So you can see they're all orbiting. They're all in a straight line here. We can Now we've sped it up, we can see all the objects are all heading in the same direction. That's cool. That is really, really cool. So 
can we let's actually push it to its limits can we go any further i mean yeah i think that's the maximum speed yep simulation can't run any faster but you can see it works that's cool look at that so uh, eight nine uh, where, where's 12 has 12 even moved i mean it is pretty far away so yeah you can see it's made distance it's made um progress so the motion it is traveling at uh speed speed where, where's the speed where's it where's the speed uh it's on overview isn't it uh speed 55 kilometers so if you put that into light speed terms yeah not much but yeah it's, it's moving which is cool and you can it's, it's just it's just we can't see the trail because it's so far away but yeah it it's cool like this this actually generally works like properly like that's awesome so yeah very well well done to him because yeah I'd, i probably wouldn't have much fun if i even attempted to do this i've never been uh, good at the barry center stuff never really tried too much of it really but you can see that barry center's at their full potential work in here i mean that's cool very nice indeed so oh my god those stars are really close there what look how close they go i mean that is i thought they were going to blow up there and collide but it may have just been the way my camera was angled but you can see if we just look in the barry center here oh yeah you can see that there they go so you can see the orbits of the center stars they're working fine so you can see roughly what's going on here. so one and two are in orbit together the third star is also going around the barry centers and stuff but yeah brilliant brilliant stuff indeed but yeah enough of me rambling on now let's uh, just get a lineup of everything so we get all the stars there i mean that is awesome stuff so you see number 11 takes the cake for the biggest one the smallest is number six onto the planets i mean i already highlighted my favorites i mean the blue one here this other blue one and then that awesome looking uh, where was it uh, where, where did it go is it one of the smaller ones yeah here we go this one here really really like 7.2 so yeah guys again a massive thank you to the creator of this system mad planet guy for sending this in yeah it's nice to go back to update 23 every once in a while isn't it just check out all the old the ways the game used to be and all that but yeah massive thanks to him for sending this in and yeah if you guys would like to send in your own simulations for this series make sure to either join my discord server at link in the description and you can send me your systems um, on there or you can let me the name of it in the workshop on in the comments of this video but please note i may miss the comment um, it may get lost in my spam box, so just keep that in mind. The Discord is the much more reliable way of getting a system in, as so you can just add it into the upload chat, and then it's permanently in a queue, so I'll be getting around to it um, at some point. But yeah, with that all said and done, though, guys, let's see if we can go for 40 likes a day for the ultra-stable 12-star system. Yeah, very well, well done to Mad Planet Guy for figuring it all out. And yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe for new helps on the journey to... Um, 17,000 subscribers now. I mean, yeah, I just lose track, but yeah, just a huge thanks to you all um, for that, guys. And yeah... Make sure you all have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.